never up, never down, never Like a flame in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Hello and good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hope you're all doing okay. I'm really sorry, blue, no, don't drink that. <sighs> Keep trying to drink my cup of tea and I'm not being funny, I am not sharing that. Um, so please excuse if you can hear the generator this morning, I have actually stayed at the caravan for the past couple of nights. This dog is causing nightmares, oh my goodness me. Um, I've just had an Amazon delivery package because yeah, I've already explained that Blue is a bit of a troublesome child. Um, he's a really, really good dog. He's just a puppy, but he's a very energetic puppy. And he, um, I've got him some things to try and stimulate him and keep him busy and things like that. Um, I'll just show you actually what I've got. So I'm just open these. I've just got him some bones. I just went on a massive Amazon haul spree. Um, the one that Blue's currently eating the box of is what I wanted to show you actually. Thank you. So I got him, a, he's just started eating the box, um, but I got him a puzzle eating toy and I know that sounds really weird, but I had a look online about intelligent dogs like Blue and he's supposed to get them some things that keep their mind busy and things like that. And obviously when I'm working during the day, obviously he goes on walks and things like that, but um, when I'm working during the day, it's hard to keep him busy while I'm working, if that makes sense. So I've just got him this i know it's not going to keep him busy for the whole day at all but i just thought he might enjoy it so it's basically a stimulating puzzle eating toy so you put some treats in, in one of these sides and then they have to use a nose to like move it over and it's in all of them so it's also really good it's got some really good reviews it's only like five pounds or something like that so i'd probably have to give it a try so i got that i might give that a go in a second and to be completely honest with you, I've got a massive Amazon box down there that Blue is now eating the corner of that one. And I have no idea what's inside it. <laughs> like, literally no idea. Um, but anyway, like I said, I've been at the caravan for the past couple of nights. And I have just started, officially today, my annual leave from work for just over a week. So I'm so excited. It's a break that... I feel like I really need and I also feel like I really deserve. Um, I don't think I've had annual leave since January and I feel like I've been running myself dry. Um, if that's all right saying, so yeah, I just feel like I've been going and going and going and going and not stopping and not taking a step back for myself. And I'm just really looking forward just to have a break and just have a break of not doing anything. Um, we was actually supposed to be going to Spain today. <laughs> It's really, really sad. Um, we was actually supposed to be going to Spain today. I can't remember what time our flight was, but base. I know I explained last week. There's just a few things going on with my dad, so um, we decided that we weren't going to go to Spain and we'd go at a better time um, when everything is all settled down and sorted. So yeah, I am officially on a new leave today. James is also off work, so we're going to have a full day together and we're going to do some shopping and get the final bits of the caravan and we've got a bit of a full, fun day planned together, which is going to be nice as we haven't had a full day together in quite a while as well. So um, I'm just going to go and make sure Blue doesn't eat this whole Amazon box and I will probably catch up with you later on when I meet back up with James. Um, I've not seen him for like three days. Um, just because I've been working and he's been on his night so I decided to stay at the caravan because it can get a bit lonely when he's on night so I thought I'll stay here with, ba with Blue okay so I'm just going to get ready now um, I'm going to put some music on while I get ready because I feel like I'm really really tired today and I need to lift my mood um, what I've decided to do is because I feel like I'm still in this huge funk about myself now that this is like the first day of my annual leave and I literally don't want to just waste it sat in bed crying every day um, I'm going to make a huge effort to try and boost my own mood and sometimes, I've already said this, you are responsible sometimes for your own mood and how you start your day is hopefully going to help your mood for the rest of the day I don't know if that makes any sense to you but I sometimes feel like if I know I'm feeling down if I was just sitting in bed all day I'm going to feel worse so I'm making a, going to make a huge effort this week while I'm off to really try and help myself um, so I'm going to put some Hannah Montana on or something just to make me feel better for those of you that don't know I am obsessed with Hannah Montana 
I'm always playing a concert songs in my car, they just really miss, um, lift my energy. Um, don't know why, I was obsessed with Hannah Montana when I was younger, I just love listening to her songs. Um, I was a proper Disney Channel kid, so I might put some Hannah Montana on and hopefully make myself be in a good mood for the day before I go and meet James and we go shopping, so I might do that now. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Me and James just decided to get a Costa on the way, so he's got a latte, I want to say, and I've got hot chocolate. Um, so we're just at the range, like I said, we're just getting final bits of the caravan. To be fair, we'll probably be able to get everything that we need from here, like it's one of them shops that you can just get everything you need, but he's just paying for the car, and then we're going to go shopping. Oh my god, it's good temp. Mm. Well, it's been successful. We've got a lot. Majority of the stuff we need anyway. Hello everyone, so it's actually been a few days since we last spoke since me and James went to the range and I am currently at the caravan because I'm about to put it all away so just sort of quickly show you everything that we got. Although we were basically ready, there's just final touches that need to be done and it's a bit of a mess as well so I really need to clean all of that. Oh, I think I've got a biscuit around my mouth. Um, I just had a biscuit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just show you everything that we got and then in a second I'm gonna go sort all of this mess out um, all of this mess out and hopefully be at the point where I can say yeah we're pretty much ready to move in now there's like two or three things we've got to buy but we've basically got everything now so I'm gonna put all of this away tidy up and then I can enjoy my week off knowing that I've done everything that I need to get done okay so it looks like a bit of a mess I'm not gonna lie but we just basically got a lot of things like we needed a bin uh, we needed a maiden we needed to get a plate set so we went for this one i thought that was really really cute um and it comes with these two mugs as well which look really nice uh we got blue can you pack it in we got him that ball as well um and if you remember me saying about my amazon packages the other day i've still not hoovered this up so that's on my agenda today um but we got blue this ball and as you can tell he's really enjoying it a bit too much but hey ho so let's leave you to that blue while I just finish this little haul and then I'll give you some attention, okay? So yeah, we got this plate set which I thought was really nice. Okay, so we also got this little treat box for blue because I just thought that was really nice to keep his treats in because we keep saying that we needed to get something for him. We also got a washing basket so we can keep that in the wardrobe room um, just for all of our washing and things like that. And um, we just got some matching towels, just some bath ones. I've got this cute little diffuser because I keep saying the last thing I want is for this place to smell like dogs. Um, so I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure that we keep it nice and tidy. Uh, I got this little lantern which is for my shelf that I'll show you in a second that I'm trying to fill up. Um, got some matching coasters just to the plate sets and we just got some random glasses and some mugs and stuff. We didn't want to go to all that because we've already said from day dot that we don't want to get too much stuff because this isn't a permanent thing. Um, just like little bits like we needed some toilet roll, needed some cleaning products. Um, we just picked out two of the same mugs of them and the same in another colour which I really like that colour. That was my old bedroom, I don't know if you remember. Um, and then me and James also picked out a mug each. So he picked out this one which says squeeze the day and guys you are actually not going to get over the size of the mug that I got. Look at the size of this. Like I'm not even joking. It is massive. So in a minute, like literally, look at it. It's like the size of my head. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is it says drink coffee because adulting is hard. 
I don't drink coffee, so I wish it said tea, but I just really like a good brew mug. So I'm gonna put all of this away in a second. Um, I'll show you quickly where I'm gonna put my lantern. So if you remember, I'm trying to make these shelves look really nice. Um, I'm not an interior designer, guys. I've already said this from day dot, but I think it looks really nice so far. Um, I just need to get little bits to finish it off. But I'm really liking how this one looks. Now my next step is to finish them ones off. Does not look great at all. My brother keeps leaving all of his stuff here, so that will stop soon. <laughs> But yeah, they're the final things that need doing really. Just finishing off little bits like this. Um, we need to get a new lamp because look what baby blue did. Um, yeah, <laughs> gonna leave that there. I wasn't too sure what to do with that. Um, one other thing actually I just remember that we bought was these three little storage units. Um, so in here, there was just a gap and we just thought that these would be perfect just to put like tea towels in and um, like utensils in one of them we're not sure about the other one i've just put my cookbook in there for now but yeah there's just i think that's everything we pretty much bought it all came to about 105 pound or something like that so it wasn't too bad um but yeah we're not planning on spending much more because we don't really need anything more but apart from little things that might crop up when we're in there oh sorry i keep forgetting everything that i bought i also got a chopping board just a cute little chopping board that's got a heart on it and um, because there's little things that i think when we're in here that will be like oh we don't we don't have that like a tree grater or something like random i feel like when you're moving to your first type of home you don't realize all the little things that you need um until you're actually in so there probably will be some things that we need to still get but we're not aware of that yet so yeah i'm gonna get off and start cleaning all these needs to clean all these mugs and I need to clean this one first so I can have a drink out of it <laughs> and hopefully in a couple of hours the caravan will be fully ready, tidied and I can just relax for the rest of the day. Oh, okay everyone so I've been tidying for a little bit but I feel like I need a bit of a break. The um, majority of this stuff's put away now so I've actually finally tidied up the table. Um, so I have hoovered, I've literally done everything that I feel like I can do for now. I just need a bit of a break. Um, so while all the spray is setting in and stuff like that i'm gonna just take blue for a quick walk just thought i'd mention this is an idea i got from my mum um she started using a bum bag when she took the boys out for a walk and i used to say why are you wearing a bum bag but it's the most handiest thing you can ever have when you've got a dog like i'm not even joking because if we ever let him off his lead i can put his lead in there and um, i can put his treats in there the bags etc it's just so handy uh, so it's gonna about to take the boys on a walk now i'm honestly sweating after that like when you hoover oh my god it's actually exercise <sighs> so i just need to chill out a little bit and um, i'm glad that i have really like relaxed today and just not done i say relaxed but i've got things done that i've wanted to get done for a while so i feel better already and um, so i've got the bits to put away in the kitchen but like i've um cleaned all our new mugs i put our plates away stuff like that so it's not finished yet so i'm not going to show you properly but i'll just show you like the plates that we got um so i've got a plate rack and i've put them all in there um i thought well i was hoping that they'd all fit on there um but they don't because the cupboards are too too small but yeah all the plates are away etc i've put all the mugs away literally look at the size of that mug guys compared to all the rest of them it's honestly ginormous <laughs> um so yeah just about to take blue out for a walk get his energy levels down finish off in here okay so blue has just spotted some cows over there and he's just being a really good boy and wait and see them but this is a walk that we normally go on because the caravans are literally there we walk out of there and come around here oh my god um so we've literally got fields next to us it's really really good and it's easy for me i can just take my time and blue loves it but i don't let him off the lead yet because i don't trust him to run off um his recall is absolutely horrendous so I don't let him off the lead yet, but James does because he's got the energy to be able to run after him and get him if he needs to. But you know me, I can't even walk a minute without nearly fainting. So, um, but yeah, so it's a really nice walk around here. But let's just see what Blue does with these cows. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun Oh, Mrs. 
I'm back from the walk and oh my god I am so tired all I've done today is hoover put a few things away been for a short walk and I am honestly exhausted so the last thing I want to do is push myself too hard and while I'm off this week be in bed like it's the last thing I want I've worked so hard over, the, over these past few months in work to not enjoy manual leave if that makes sense so what I've decided to do give it a rest for today I'm going to go back to James's house make a brew because i feel like i really need one um and then just refresh and come back tomorrow and sort everything out but i've done the floor like i've hoovered and stuff i need to still tidy up there but the one thing i'm going to do quickly before i go is stick some tiles in the bathroom and um, it's something that we've still got left to do in the bathroom and then it's pretty much done hey guys so these are the towels that towels at uh, tiles that i mentioned so they'll literally just stick on packet and um, from the mat mum might have gotten from b and you get a packet of them for 10 pound and um, I know they're probably not the best quality, but I think they, they, they look nice once they're on, so you literally just stick them on. Hey y'all, wanna go to the barn darts? <laughs> Alright, he's on. He's bought some, um, I think they're called suspenders. Yeah, well, braces or what? Braces, oh no, not suspenders, they braces. Well, they go well with these short shorts and a no. t-shirt. He's bought them because he's going to a wedding on, in the Isle of Man on Friday? Saturday? Right. Friday. So he's bought them, that's why he's got... <laughs> that's that, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello everyone, so it's been a few days since we caught up. Um, still on my week off, still literally living my best life. I honestly waking up in the morning and literally thinking I have nothing to do today. It's just so good. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know that my mum just picked up a prescription for me, um, which is what the stoma nurse is recommended for me. I don't know if you remember on the last video that I spoke about it. The stoma nurse said they couldn't really help me much, but they do have one suggestion for me, and the dressing has just arrived. So just thought while it's arrived, I'll show you what it looks like and show you if it can maybe help i have never opened it so you're going to see it for the first time with me um so let's have a look right don't really know where to put you where you can see me and i can see you at the same time um oh, i've still got my dog walking back on hold on me and blue have just been out together right so this is what my tube's looking like today it's not looking as bad as normal still looking red but it's like manageable today so this is called a hydro do you know what i'm not even going to say what that says i'm just gonna let you read it because i don't want to say that wrong i'm just covering my nhs number up um but yeah it's just a dressing so the stoma nurse said that they believe this is the one thing that they've got that could potentially help me um just opened it and it just looks like this so she just said that it's something that you can use every day and um, you can leave it on as long as you need to leave it on you can leave it on overnight it's just something that she thinks will be able to help my skin protect itself from the acid from when it leaks out my tube so to be honest with you I feel like it just looks like a normal bandage like literally just looks completely normal I think I'm gonna have to get some scissors and cut it round um, so as far as I'm thinking, maybe cut a hole in the middle where I can put my tube and then stick it round. So let me do that now and then we'll stick it on. Right, I feel like I've made the best job I possibly can do of this. Um, I feel like I've made a note to myself that next time I do it, I need to keep the backing on because I don't know if I made it on sticking or not. By the way, if anyone's thinking, why the hell have you got a hole in them? 
Um, these are the only joggers that I find really comfy at the moment because they're quite loose and with my stomach being sore. And Blue decided the other day that he'd like to eat them, so um, I'm pending a new pair, so please just don't judge for now. <laughs> um, so let's give this a go and try to put this on. I feel like I made the hole a bit too big. But, oh, see, I feel like I've made the hole a bit too big because there's still a gap from where the skin is. But we'll just leave this on for now. I've definitely made it too big because if you can see underneath, there's still a little gap. And I think it's supposed to protect my skin fully. Let me try and adjust it a little bit so it's not like that. Might have to put a bend in it, but as long as it stays on, it'll be fine. Right, I've made a little... I've made it a bit shorter so there's not a gap at the bottom anymore so let's just see how this goes um so this is what it's looking like i've not put any cream on it because i felt like it wouldn't stick if there was on any on it but let's see how this goes there's quite a lot of them in the pack um there's about 10 so yeah at least we've got that on now so let's see how that goes and i will keep you updated i am about to ring my nurses because i'm hoping to go and see them tomorrow um so fingers crossed they can fit me in and i think me and mum are going to go to the traffic center which would be really nice so yeah keep you updated it's not fixing the root issue of it of it keep leaking because i can keep kind of plastering and protecting the skin but it's not fixing the issue if that makes any sense theater again and getting a brand new in a new place i don't know if it'll be worth trying having a longer one again because if that helps i could then go back to a mickey couldn't i if that kind of helps a bit but yeah 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 I don't, I don't yeah i do think that it'd be a step worth taking to at least try it and then are they are they quite long i can't even remember all right thanks so much thank you all right speak to you soon bye bye Hey everyone, so I just spoke to my nurses, my lovely nutrition team, and I have made the brave decision to, it's not even a brave decision to be honest if you don't know why I'm saying that, but I am going to get rid of my Mickey button and I am going to have a longer tube put in. So you all know the dilemma that I've had recently about how my doctors haven't been helping me, you know, that I've just not heard from anybody. So I've just spoke to my nutrition team directly and just to explain to them what's been happening and what was involved in the plan that my doctor set. And one of them was taking the Mickey button out and going back to a longer tube because it's hopefully prevents less leakage from the inside out. Um, if it works, can look at going to a Mickey button in the future, etc. Um, but because I've not heard anything, I just thought, you know what, let's just do it on our own back. So I just spoke to them. They completely agree with me that that's probably the best thing to at least try. Um, so she just needs to book me in because when you have a J tube, it has to be looked at under x-ray after you've had it done. Um, they just need to make, they put some contrast down and make sure it's in the right place. So um, once that has been looked at and that's been make sure it's okay and um, then you can go but if you don't book yourself in when you get your tube change you could be waiting hours to get seen by x-ray so they normally book it in at a certain time so just need to wait to hear back from her and as soon as they have booked me in we will be saying goodbye to my mickey button um and yeah let's just hope that this is the up cycle slope i don't know if this is the right saying or anything this is the upwards positive vibes that it's gonna get better that's all that matters and i was asking her questions like what does it look like how long is it and to be honest with you it could look i don't even care what what it is as long as it helps me that's all that matters i've had a long one before um i know i can cope with it i think i've just got so used to having a mini button i mean i've had this tube since 2013 and it, i only had the long one for six months where i got my mickey button so i don't remember what it's like to have a long one so i think it'll take some getting used to i do remember one thing i always used to get really annoyed at is if you was ever really desperate for a wee or anything and you'd have it tucked in your trousers and you pull your trousers to go for a wee and you pull your tube and oh my god i need to get used to that again um but i know there are some things that you can get j locks i think they're called which are like little plasters that you can tape it up to your skin which i don't think was something that was looked at when i first had mine so 
yeah i feel positive today i feel like i've got things in place um, I've also just rung the Minds Matters team, which is the therapy thing that I'm being referred to, and they informed me it's still for another four to six weeks wait, but I'm still on the list, so that's a bit frustrating, but at least I've got, I just know that I'm just getting looked after again, and yeah. So I'm going to go at the minute, because I've just made myself a brew in this humongous mug, like I said, um, the other day. It's actually a winter warmer, I don't know if you can see. Um, still got some of them from Christmas time, keeping strong till they come back in. Um, and I'm actually gonna go to charge my phone. I don't know why I've got my tweezers in my hands, by the way. Um, I'm gonna go charge my battery because I'm just fil I'm going to film another YouTube video tonight, which is a video about chronic fatigue syndrome and hopefully helping people deal with it and just explaining a bit more about what CFS is and things like that. Because I know a lot of people are suffering with that for a long COVID so there'll be a lot of new people out there that are struggling with help so if I've got some information that might help them then why not share it so yeah I am probably going to close off this video now because I've been chatting for a long time I feel like I don't really know what the process of this video has been but I've given you a few updates and things like that so I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'm not sure if the chronic fatigue video is gonna be out before you see this one but either way um, you'll be able to see them both so thank you so much for watching again and being patient with me as always I know things have been a bit tough recently but I really am getting there I'm feeling positive today I've had a week off to refresh and get myself back into the normal state that I normally can be in and the positive self I can be so I think sometimes it's just important to give yourself that time just to recharge your batteries and go again so thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all really soon bye To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want.